Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve this problem breaking the records in Python programming language. So we have given a list of elements in which the score of a basketball match which was played by Maria is given. So these are the matches she has played. The total number of matches are 4 and the score of each match is given. So what we have to do is we have to keep the track of how many times she broke her minimum score record and maximum score record. So if you see this, this was her first match in which she has scored uh, 12 number of score so, uh, in the second match she has scored 24 in the third it's 10 in the fourth it's 24 so as you see in the second match she has broken her previous maximum score record that is 12 that was 12 and now it is 24 so maximum score record has been broken once in the entire four matches so as this was 24 and this was also 24 that is second and fourth match so it will be kept as a neutral and it will not be counted as uh, it was broken a record so if this was 25 then the record was broken twice but as both the numbers are same so record has been broken only once so if you see the first match was having a score of 12 but in the third match the score was decreased to 10 so minimum score has also been broken once so the total number of scores that is maximum score was broken is once and minimum score broken is also once so we have to return one and one so first of all what we have to do is we have to initialize two variables that is mean count and max count to zero and then we have to do, take two variables to keep the score of first match as a reference for the mean and max so that will be equal to mini keeping the score of the first match in max and mini and we'll run a for loop on the scores list and then we'll check if the current element is lesser than the element mini so if the current element is lesser than the mini here which was the score of the first match then what we have to do is we have to assign mini to this element and then we have to increase the mean count by one and same as for this max that is if this max is this current element is greater than this max then what we have to do is max equal to the current element and max count will increase by one and as they have said we have to return max count first and mean count after so that's it we'll just run the code so as you see first test cases has passed we'll submit the code to check all the test cases so it is passing all the test cases so this is the code which you can use to solve this problem thank you for watching